So first we do an incision around the gingiva with a scalpel that detaches the tissue and it gives faster healing afterwards. Uh, we're extracting using simple techniques, rotation in this case and elevators to remove the tooth. These teeth are realistic. And then we're using our implant drills to create the osteotomy. Because it's an immediate implant, we have to drill into the palatal bone and then re-angle. And we need to make sure that we've got enough uh, reduction that the implant doesn't kick buckle as we uh, wind it in. So then once the implant is placed, we're putting a temporary abutment cylinder. You can use peak, I've used titanium here, and this allows us to place some graft material. We want to make a custom abutment and we want to bulk out the tissue to compensate for any bone shrinkage that would occur over time. So we've taken this soft tissue graft from the pallet. Uh, we raised a little pouch with, with a scalpel earlier so the tissue would just slide into that pouch and it won't need any sutures to hold it in place. Uh, once the grafts are in place, we can then use a bit of flowable, kind of 3D print a custom abutment shape. We just do the occlusal portion, remove the temporary cylinder and fill in the flowable to give the ideal emergence profile. Once this is done, we can cut off the cylinder and polish and shape that custom abutment so that it will perfectly support the tissues and then screw it back in.